new reaction tonight coming in from some of Bryant's youngest fans. He was all about inspiring others to always bring their A game. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang spoke with members of Kobe's Mamba League in Harlem. They practiced hard and took their shots, but with a heavy heart tonight. Here at the Children's Aid Millbank Community Center. This is not just another New York basketball league. They are part of Kobe Bryant's Mamba League. And they will never forget the time Kobe surprised hundreds of starry-eyed players with a visit to Harlem last spring. It was so much bigger than basketball. He brought books for every child that was here. The book that he just read World, and then had a young person sitting in the corner just reading a book to them, and that's something that I will never forget. Kobe, to me, he's just an inspiration. He's a legend. I've watched his 30 for 30 on ESPN. He's made me, he's inspired me to play basketball to get better every day. The Mamba League was part of Kobe's give back to children. The program provided jerseys, equipment, coaches for boys and girls, the goal to teach them basketball skills, life lessons, and a reason to stay off the streets. We definitely getting off the subject a little bit. We lost a leader today. I think uh, Kobe Bryant is pretty much the define of what basketball is um, on and off the court. I read some of his book, Mama Mentality, and it's really helped me. Like, get a, he, like, he helps you get a great mindset in the game and how to help you focus and stuff. <laughs> At basketball courts across the city, the same sense of numbness, then sadness when they learned a legend had died. I'm sad that Kobe died. He was the GOAT. His moves, like, they look cool, and I was trying to copy them. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, man. New York loved you. Harlem loved you, man. You will never be forgotten, brother. That was Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang.